Welcome to this exhibition. The idea of this exhibition came about uh, when we were asked to organize the Anatomical Society meeting here in Oxford. And then we uh, decided that wouldn't it be a nice idea to have an uh, Art of Anatomy exhibition uh, coinciding with this meeting. The, the Art of Anatomy exhibition celebrates 40 years of collaboration between the Ruskin School here in Oxford with the Department of Physiology, Anatomy and Genetics. It's divided into four parts. First has got work from students from the Ruskin School. The second is uh, anatomical works in the dissecting room here in Oxford by Yoshi Takada from Japan. Uh, I am Yoshi Takada. Uh, I am a Japanese, uh, Japanese artist. Uh, my artworks are Japanese style painting. The third is work from uh, Zoltan Molnar's group who are looking at the way the human brain behaves and develops. I think this exhibition shows in a wonderful way um, how complex but at the same time um, aesthetic our body and especially the human brain is. And just wonderful to see how um, art can actually give us an insight into um, how the brain is structured and um, how the different cell types in the human brain are interacting. And the fourth is a group from Dublin. The Dublin component it looks at the way anatomy is transformed in portrait painting. We can do it in reverse by remastering old masters. We look at impact biomechanics and surface anatomy online. I am the painter, Amelia is the photographer. It became obvious to us that Clive should be the subject. My brief essentially was to study the structure of Clive's head by looking at the surface of the structure and, and consequently the personality might present itself. We worked both in the studio and then we came back to his office to do a second portrait which was more environmental to show the difference between a studio portrait and an environmental one. It's really a fantastic combination of science and art. As a scientist, I'm always very, very impressed uh, by anatomy, the beauty of the structure, from all the way from the molecules to the system. And I, I think some of these art pieces, they reflect this beauty, uh, which we don't always appreciate as scientists. So I think this exhibition will help us to, to do that.